New information now on the capture of a brutal Mexican gang leader. Mexican federal police have arrested Jose Hernandez. It happened on Friday. The former police officer turned Juarez cartel hitman reportedly admitted ordering 1,500 murders, including that of a U.S. consulate employee and two other Americans. Joining us now, the former director of the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy, former drug czar under President George W. Bush, and Hudson Institute Executive Vice President John Walters. Who is this guy, Mr. Walters? Well, he's another one of these uh, armed uh, thugs that uh, rose to power because of his ruthlessness and brutality. So uh, this is a powerful mass murderer brought to justice. It's a good thing. He is believed to be responsible for that murder, and it was one of the stories that uh, made such tragic headlines. A female U.S. consulate employee, uh, as well as her husband, were attacked in their car, and their little girl was in the back seat. Yeah, so that makes it another uh, a good good day for uh, the good guys here. Uh, when you attack U.S. personnel, it's important that you be brought to justice, and that's another important message being sent here. It shows cooperation with the United States. I think the next question is, uh, can Mexican officials extradite him to the United States? It would be it would be a good and powerful lesson, and would help us use our mandatory minimum laws to get information from him and turn him into a, a tool to go after more of his colleagues. That's what we need: faster attacks on these vicious monsters south of the border. What do you think of the chances of that, though? I mean, Mexico won't extradite people to this country if they face the poss possibility of the death penalty. Would our government be willing to drop the death penalty in exchange for keeping and holding him here? We did that with Colombia, where uh, President Uribe, who just left office, extradited over 800 people uh, while we were still in office. Uh, the, the condition was that we not uh, put the death penalty on the table. We could put long terms on the table, and uh, essentially long enough terms that it's, you're going to die in jail. And almost all of the individuals extradited to the United States uh, flipped on their uh, their former uh, uh, criminal friends and gave us evidence that allowed us to roll up more of them. The key is to use these criminals as assets to roll up and indict more of these individuals, extradite them here, as we build the criminal justice system in Mexico. It's been battered by these vicious attacks on, on court personnel as well as on law enforcement and decent citizens. Uh, they're fighting back and they're making progress. It's not overnight. It's like, you know, putting John Gotti in the ground. It's going to take some time. But uh, uh, the Mexicans are, are keeping the fight going, and this is the latest evidence of that, uh, that continued effort. This guy, Hernandez, also accused of setting off a car bomb in Mexico. People, you know, didn't think that kind of thing was going to migrate from Iraq and Afghanistan to this hemisphere, but it did. Also, uh, an attack on a birthday party that killed 15 people, mostly teenagers. With him, at least in, uh, under arrest for now, in detention, does it perhaps slow down the the violence on that side of the border? Yeah, you're right to uh, to show the analogy to terrorism. The goal here is to grab these guys and to grab them at a tempo that breaks down these networks. One person, yes, they can be replaced, but one person that has power that's taken down weakens the organization. The question is, can you take them down rapidly enough? Can you incapacitate them? Can you extradite them? Can you hold them in jails and prisons and bring them to justice rapidly enough to begin to take this apart? That's what President Calderon's done. It's a very brave effort on his part because at the start, wow. the bad guys are strongest and you're weakest. They need to keep pushing, and we need to more visibly support them by both reducing demand in the United States, and President uh, Obama could say something about the drug problem that would be very powerful with young people. I don't know why he doesn't. And by going after uh, coordination of law enforcement, it's about the same kind of tactics that we use in terrorism. Get the hats, bad guys. Hats off to President Calderon. John Hudson, thank you.